Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the free Unity assets for August, September 2022. And this month, we've got over 90 different free assets on the Unity Asset Store. And I will feature the free content from the Unreal Marketplace, which you can import into Unity as well. And I do have a tutorial on converting those over. I'll leave all the links in the description, but I will feature some of the best that I've found for this month. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the big sales that are currently on, especially Especially with Humble, they've teamed up with Unity to create a tools and an art related massive bundle for a big, big discount. As of recording this, I don't think the art bundle is online yet, but it is coming and I'll leave a link in the description so you can take a look out of it whenever it's available. And be sure to also check out my Patreon to get access to over 160 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So the first one we've got here is Nature Renderer, which used to be a semi-high paid premium asset. And this allows you to create vast amounts of vegetation on a terrain with a really optimized solution. And this is a Unity verified solution. This must be a new thing for the Unity Asset Store, which allows you to have better culling, more settings per camera, profiling, all updated tree rendering and all the features that are supported to get better performance in your terrain. So this is a 2D platformer sample with all the source code included for Unity 2020 or higher. All the assets from the demo included, including a player controller, camera controller, enemy AI, coin system, and works across different platforms. The next one is camera image capture, and this is a free and open source way to capture an image of your camera essentially. So you could use that and save that somewhere out on your computer, whether you take an image or a screenshot or use that as a part of your game. The next one is the multi-target camera movement, which is a simple script to allow you to keep so many different targets in the frame of the camera. And this could be good for multiplayer or split screen style games. The next one is the keyboard keys and mouse sprites. And I thought I'd include this because it's quite a nice one if you're making sort of help prompts for users on different platforms. And it comes with the black and white variation with 128 different key sprites all ready to go. The next one is the pool object manager. So this is a lightweight and easy to use pool manager, which allows you to keep track of all the different objects that you've spawned. You can despawn specific prefabs and have a nice way to manage all of the pooling with inside your game. The next one is the Prata Dialogues in Seconds. It's a dialogue system which allows you to create conversations with a built-in graph tool. So it's easy for character creation, integration with the input system. It's got full documentation with full source code, implementation involved, and it suggests that you can create conversations in seconds. The next one is the See to Do Organizer mobile app. So this is an fully encapsulated app to show you the best ways to create UI, a user experience, use graphics, classes, and an organized way to make yourself a professional application, which is to do a to-do list calendar with all these different features integrated. The next one is the PAC system free edition. And this is a point and click prefab placement system designed to assist you when you're building 3D scenes. And this allows you to save time because you can select objects that have already been referenced in the scene to be able to select those, move them around and do what you want with them. The next one is targeting system 2.2.9 and this allows you to do object based targeting so you add a component to the game object set the parameters to start targeting and then you can target them be able to move them do it for different headsets with lots of different implementations and source code included. Next one is Dark Space 2D Pack, which is a package of over 190 different sprites at 1024 by 1024 to create that stylistic effect with seven different backgrounds of cosmoses. Next one is the Low Poly Free Vehicles Pack, and this is a pack of different sizes, shapes, optimized for scenes with seven different prefabs for, for a normal car, police car, truck, scooter, HMV, light plane, and an air balloon, all between 800 and 1,700 vertices. We've got the Shadow Receiver URP free, and there is a premium version of this, but this one allows you to use a transparent shader to render real-time objects that would have a, normally have a shadow, whereas if you would use it normally, 
a transparent object wouldn't have a shadow so this allows you to add this for URP if you need that specific functionality. The next one is the ultimate procedural primitives and this comes with a bunch of primitive objects for a planar box, a rounded box, a pyramid, a sphere, a cone and a super shape and this free version has 40 different presets so you can edit the pivot, the parameters, the direction, it's got optimized UVs and you can actually create custom shapes with these parameters. The next one is called better input manager and this makes the old input manager a lot better and it offers comprehensive straightforward interface for the old input manager and it allows to add more buttons, names and it makes more sense when you come to use it because it's got drop downs, it's got icons for each different platform that you might want to use, an easier way to understand how the original input system did work. The next one is the grappling hook rope wrapper 2D and this is a 2D grappling hook mechanic with a demo scene that's present and this allows you to have a robust wrapping mechanic which needs no tweaking which will wrap around objects, let you swing, shoot, reel, whatever you need to do with the rope and there is a demo for it too. The next one is the top down fantasy village demo and this is 11 high quality top down from the fantasy village pack, one house, two specific rocks, vegetation, different props for fences, haystacks, pottery, and a post-processing profile to get you started. The last one is the Logic Forge, which is a visual style editor for Unity, which has a visual style of being able to implement lots of mechanics and you can design and code and load in play mode. And it's got event-based interactions. You can do this for materials. You can do this for animation clips, sounds, prefab scripts, so much more. You can do lots of customization with all the source code and it's got a full host of videos to show you how to do this. So as I say, be sure to check out all these assets on the Unity Asset Store. And there's another 60 or so different assets with sounds, models, and so much more that you can check out and I'll leave all the links in the description. And we will look at the Unreal Marketplace assets very shortly, but throw a like on this video and make sure you check out all the sales down in the description below. So the free Unreal Marketplace assets for September 2022, City Environment Mega Pack Volume 2, and this is a modular pack set in urban locations of a Japanese style, created from the look of a Japanese style city, with over 600 different models with houses, internal parts, modular parts, blend pieces, and so much more. The next one is the Countryside Windmills and Barns and this has over 180 different models with modular barns and windmills ready to reuse, fully prefabbed with all the elements, with animated meshes, splines for fences and collisions and tessellated landscape with a HDRI map. The next one is the Dynamic Volumetric Sky. This is fully volumetric clouds which are optimized and ready to use and it has depth sorting for you to be able to fly through above the clouds with the sky atmosphere support, a day and night cycle, dynamic time, weather with a dynamic environment, wind and moon phases. The next one is the flexible combat system basic. This has been upgraded with a thousand hours to bringing in magic range combat, quest system, dialogue system, inventory systems, fully blueprint with 200 new professional animations, sound effects, visual effects, and so much more. The next one is the Scanlabs Interior Volume 1, and this is a fully optimized and high performant visualization with 100 unique books, piles, and different decorative items for shoes, boxes, flowers, picture frames, fruits. And last but not least is the Stylized Asian Village, which is a pack with over 200 building parts and over 50 different props with 243 different meshes, all ranged in resolution for a stylized Asian village. So as I say, be sure to check out all the links for all the amazing assets for this month because there is some incredible ones to include. As I say, be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 160 scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out all my assets on the Unity Asset Store along with all the savings on my website for all those great assets. So I want to say a big thank you to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Hoagland Nigan, Raheem Whitaker, Jean Pommy, Manos Berikas, Terence Conrad, 
Walter Dunson, Joseph Newman, René Leisure, Topher Chambers, Kreshna Khalili, Benjamin Shankel, Alex Shen, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Ishkawa Takuya, Ron J, and Hush. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.